last class we talking about tokens category as we talking about the tokens we talk about like a token is a small unit of a program of the point like token is a what small unit of a what program generally we discuss last class like token consists of like identifiers keywords variables data types okay these are the things we are concentrating on the point and last class we mostly concentrated on the constant point constant nothing but like value does not change throughout the program is called as what constant of the point today we'll talk about like one of the session majorly on okay data types one of the session is called as what data types as we discussed in the last sessions variable nothing but a name which is given for any computer memory location a name which is given for what any computer memory location is called as variable as i told you like the purpose of the variable to store the data the purpose of the variable what to store the what data of the point the purpose of the variable to store the what data so what type of data we are going to store what type of data we are going to store that will be described by the concept of data types by the concept of what data types okay what type of data we can store in a variable describes by the data type that means whenever a variable is declaring whenever a what variable is declaring variable must and should declare with respect to data types with respect to what data types what this data type describes you what type of data we store in a variable that defines by the data type not only that one it also allocates some bytes of memory it also allocates what some bytes of memory for the variable for the what variable of the point like so let me focus mostly on one of the session right now one of the session is called right now on the data types of the point so data types okay purpose is nothing but it tells you what type of data we have to store in a variable and it allocates some bytes of memory it allocates some what bytes of memory for the variable some bytes of memory for the what variable of the point like so when a variable is declaring we must and should define with the data we must and should define with the data as per the c language considerations as per the c language consideration like majorly data types are classified in three categories majorly data types are classified how many categories three categories like first one primary data types first one primary data types these are basically called as predefined data types or data types they call as what predefined data types of course we can also be called as primitive data types also be called as what data types what primitive data types one more thing we going to called as one more second one we going to have like derived data types we have what data types what derived data types we have derived data types one more thing we have like secondary data types one more thing we going to call as what secondary data whenever if you not satisfied with the primary data whenever we not satisfied with the primary data you going to utilize secondary data secondary data is nothing but called as user defined data types nothing but called as what user defined data types of the point so we are the primary data types derived data types as well as what secondary data types of the point like total c language majorly depends on the data type sessions we'll going to implement the point first our focus is on majorly on the primary data types majorly on the what primary data types what is this primary data types why should i have to consider this ones okay what are the next derived data types everything will be come to know the process like let me talk about let me what talk about like what is this primary data types what is this what primary data types so let me see the picture generally the primary data types or the data types are directly interacted are directly interacted with the mission instructions directly interacted with the mission instructions of the point with the mission instructions of the point primary data types or the data types are directly interacted with the mission instructions of the point the type of data types are called as primary data types okay they directly interacted directly interacted with the what mission statements mission instructions of the point the type of data types is called as what primary data types of the point okay in this primary data types when i defining the primary data types like 
for every primary derivatives for every primary derivatives generally we define type modifiers for every primary derivatives we have the what type modifiers when are defining the primary derivatives we have the type modifiers will be take place what will be take place what type modifier what are these type modifiers the type modifiers job is nothing but alter the meaning of the data type alter the meaning of the data type alter the meaning of the data type the type modifiers make a utilization is what alter the meaning of the what data type of the point you want to change the meaning of the data type you want to change the meaning of the data type we use type modifiers basically there are four types of type modifiers are there okay how many types of modifiers are there what four types of type modifiers are there four types the four types are signed short long unsigned there are four types of type modifiers like okay signed short long as well as what unsigned so these are called as type modifiers these are not a data types this is not a what data these are called as what type modifiers of the point so in this in this signed and short or default that means if you not defined also by default will be take space by the compiler by default will be take space by the what compiler that is called signed as well as what short signed as well as what short of the point like okay let me come to the clear picture what is this signed as well as what short what is this long as well as what unsigned other point as well as what unsigned generally telling like this may not understandable you will take some practical one example practical what one example what is this signed as well as what unsigned generally signed means signed means we can use negative as well as what positive we can use negative as well as what positive data signed means we can use what negative as well as what positive data unsigned means unsigned means we can use only positive only what positive signed we can represents for negative as well as what positive data unsigned means we can use only what positive other point like let come across when to use signed when to use unsigned that depends on your example practically what we will going to do that based on that example will be takes place for example i am doing an railway project suppose i am doing one project like railway project in this one i am doing one module like railway ticket i am doing one module okay i am designing one module module means small issue of the point so i am designing okay one module like railway ticket in the railway ticket like lot of information is available what about lot of information what available like what type of information different types of information is available what type of information is available on the railway ticket of the point like for example train number what number train number t and y i am representing this train number what you been representing generally you know that train number will be of only the positive number will be there only the what number will be there positive number and it does not contains any negative numbers does not contain what any number. that time defining the signed it will takes like negative as well as what positive but unnecessary there is no negative data will be existed so better to define the type modifier is what unsigned it comes only the what positive values comes only the what values positive value so the train number better to define as unsigned type because we know that we don't have any what negative numbers for example what are the train numbers and a five digit number will be there one two five four two one two seven one two like this number seven five four three two only what numbers will be there positive numbers will be there what numbers will be there what positive numbers will be there that is the reason like defining of signed unnecessary wastage of memory of the process without wastage i want to utilize properly i'll go for what unsigned i'll go for what unsigned that means only positive only what positive similarly we have like age 
column in our ticket we have one one column is what age column the age column always is a what data positive data what data what positive so better there also better to mention what type is called unsigned type what type is what unsigned similarly some other columns like okay similarly some other columns like here when you've been representing the point like amount is there amount will be of we require of signed type we require of what signed type why we require amount of signed type because cancellations also will be there the cancellation comes in the what value negative values cancellation comes in the what negative amount for that reason i require what type is what signed type i require what type is called is what signed type so i require here signed in this train number and age unsigned so you decide you decide depends on the project depends on the what project okay either you require a signed type either what unsigned type so i am not telling that go for only signed go for only for unsigned depends on the project depends on the application you have to choose the depends on the column you have to choose signed as well as what unsigned signed as well as what unsigned the point similarly some other sessions like distance on the uh, on the train ticket available that is can be takes place what unsigned like like the so many things are there depends on the application depends on the what application hope you clear the signed as well as unsigned one more practical i'll going to give what is signed and unsigned so let me listen so signed means negative positive can accept it unsigned means only what positive only what positive like so these are called type modifiers these are called as what modifiers type one. so depends on the application you can take the any of the sessions like similarly we have what short as well as what long will be there short as well as what short short means less bytes short means what less bytes long means more bytes long means what more bytes short means what less bytes long means what more bytes you know about bytes of the process like for example if i take a train number age this two can i accept in short this can i accept in what short like but amount i have to take long is better for the amount you take better is what long type more amount will be the lakhs of number of tickets booking of the pond like okay lakhs of rupees will comes like better to define as a what type is what a long type better to define as a what type is what long type so they will be of short means less best i'll tell you what the difference is between the how much size of short how much size of long later on sessions will be there of the pond so this is about like your type modifiers let me see more better way about this one signed and short what happen if i define signed what happen if i define as what signed what happen if i define for the unsigned to the compiler to the watch compiler let focus here for example then how do the compiler differentiate signed as well as what unsigned suppose for the compiler you defined as signed type you defined as a what type signed type when you define a sign type of the pond for example i take one byte i take what one byte one byte is equal to eight bits one byte is equal to eight bits so you are telling to the compiler one byte is equal to eight bits okay then 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 totally 8 bits 0 to 7 0 to what 7 if it is a signed type if it is a what type is what signed type if it is a what type signed type the last bit the last bit okay basically it is called sign bit it is basically going to call as what sign bit is interrupted is interrupted as sign flag what flag is what sign flag the last bit when i define as a signed when i define as a what signed the last bit interrupted as a what sign bit that is called as what sign flag in this sign flag in this sign bit in this sign bit zero is stored it is positive number zero is stored what number positive number in this is one is stored it is negative number if it is one is stored is what one it so signed means okay basically this bit is going to call lsb this is going to call lsb you going to call least significant 
bit of the point what bit is called least significant bit of the point basically this is going to call as msb this is going to call msb also most significant bit of the point most significant bit of the point basically the last bit is basically represents for sign flag interruption if zero is stored here it is positive number if it is one is stored is what negative number so by defining as a sign by defining as a what sign you are telling to the compiler telling to the one where maintain a sign flag the sign flag if zero is stored is a positive number one is stored is what negative number that is called signed that is called as what answer suppose if i define unsigned if you define as what unsigned there is no sign flag there is no what flag sign flag that means if i define as unsigned if i define as what unsigned for the process okay for the word process like in this unsigned of the point everything is positive there is no sign flag one Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in this one, what is an sign bit means? Okay, in this one, no sign flag. There is no sign flag. There is no what flag? What sign flag? Okay, everything is what normally calculating process. Why? Because Atman, this is what type is what unsigned type. This is what type? What unsigned? Type. So, whenever I define as a signed bit, the last bit, the last bit, higher order bit is interpreted as a what? Sign flag. Okay, interpreted as a what flag? Sign flag. In this sign flag, if 0 is stored, it is a positive number. If 1 is stored, it is a what number? Negative number. Let me come cl clearly in the data type sessions once again other point. That is the differences between the what? Signed as well as what? Unsigned. Okay, the short and long means less and more bytes. Short and long means what? Less and more bytes of the point like. So this is the basically when you're defining the data as when you're defining the data as we have the signed bit as well as what? Unsigned will be present. Unsigned will be what takes place.